Hi, I'm Michael Bedewer. I'm a physician in the Department of Otolaryngology, Head and Neck Surgery. My primary focus is head and neck surgery as well as facial paralysis surgery. I practice at Emory University Hospital Midtown in the Emory Aesthetic Center. Um, I grew up in a medical um, household. My mother was a nurse and my dad was an oral surgeon. Uh, they worked together for many, many years in my dad's uh, oral surgery practice in the small town in Tennessee where I grew up. I saw uh, the relationships that my father was able to develop with his patients and saw how much joy that brought him as well as the patients. And I admired my father, so I, I pursued medicine and then went into otolaryngology, which has a lot of the, uh, has a lot of similar anatomy to oral surgery, in fact. And so after pursuing my otolaryngology training, I then went into head and neck surgery because I was really drawn to the patient population uh, that, that, that that specialty treated, uh, which was a lot of more salt of the earth type of folks who uh, really had really challenging hard problems, but were some of the most gracious uh, people I'd ever met. I have two primary clinical interests. My first clinical interest is head and neck reconstruction. In this part of my practice, I work with our larger head and neck uh, cancer team, and we treat uh, patients afflicted with head and neck cancer as well as benign tumors. And following tr surgical treatment for these uh, diseases, uh, these patients need reconstruction. So what we do is we utilize tissue types from other parts of the body uh, and we transplant those uh, tissue types uh, to the head and neck to restore form and function for these patients. The second part of my practice is facial reanimation or facial paralysis. And in this, pop in, in this uh, area of my practice, I see a bit different uh, population. A lot of these patients have been afflicted with Bell's palsy, Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, or possibly treatment for tumors of the head and neck, such as acoustic neuromas or parotid tumors. And here at the nerve center, we offer a variety of treatments, uh, both surgical and non-surgical for these conditions. In terms of non-surgical treatments, we offer Botox treatments as well as facial neuromuscular retraining. In terms of surgical treatments, we offer uh, procedures such as uh, selective facial neurolysis, as well as uh, muscle resections, nerve transfers, and gracilis muscle transfers uh, for smile reanimation. Um, I grew up in a, a small town in Tennessee uh, where most of our activities were uh, outdoors. So my favorite thing in the world is uh, to fish. I'll fish in ponds, rivers, uh, oceans, you name it, it's my favorite thing to do. I usually give my patients uh, two, two forms of advice. The first is that we're a team. So if they are uh, interested in pursuing treatment for the long haul, uh, I'm your guy and I will be there with them to walk them through that process uh, and see it out with them uh, for the duration. The second the second piece of advice I usually give them is to, to kind of look at their outcomes and their progress on more of a, a weekly or monthly basis versus looking at their progress over hours or days. Because what I found is that progress and outcomes are very challenging to, to see over the span of 24 to 48 hours sometimes, but a lot of people um, can see small improvements uh, over the course of, of weeks uh, or months. So that's something that I really emphasize with my patients.